you are a small starting out mercenary unit in the year 3015. You create the career and actually build up this mercenary unit from a small thing all the way up to an elite unit that can do the hardest missions in the inner sphere. And it's all about managing your business and managing your mechs and managing all your resources and all your mech pilots. And to me, it's like the perfect combination of mech warrior and mech warrior action and all that addicting management aspects that come with the mercenaries titles. I mean, I grew up playing the tabletop pen and paper Battletech version uh, introduced to me by my older brother. Since I had the game studio, I always had a love of the brand. I was lucky that it could have lined up, but for me, I was, it was always a goal to make something with the brand. Prana Games is a developer. It's been uh, 20 years come this January. Someone had the idea, said, well, you should get some piranhas. And to our surprise, we actually found pet stores that had them. And it's, I guess it just adds a little extra connection between the staff and the company name and the logo. And to actually have little living mascots is kind of neat. It wasn't until 2011 that we started development on MechWarrior Online. And MechWarrior Online was a self-published effort. And then since then, we've been, you know, 100% self-funding uh, and developing uh, MechWarrior 5. MechWarrior 5 was created completely with freedom of movement, but also massive replayability. Even if you start the game over again, you can choose a different starting location. You can choose to travel to different locations, which means you're fighting different people. There's different things on the marketplace than there were in the other regions. And it's a totally different experience. Similarly, MechWarrior 5 fulfills another dream for long-standing MechWarrior players in that they play those past single-player games and they were great, but there were short linear experiences and there was always this dream of like, well, what if I could travel anywhere? What if I could take on contracts anywhere? And so what we do here is we try to fulfill long-standing dreams from, uh, you know, MechWare and Biotech players. So these are the pods. We had uh, four of them created from MechCon. Each one of them has a 55-inch 4K screen, full HOTUS, which is uh, hands-on throttle and stick and rumble on the seat. Very unique way of playing MechWarrior 5. It gives you a real cockpit experience. Yeah, I think MechCon was really a pet project of mine and the studios in that there's so many fans out there and they've, you know, they've loved this brand now for 35 years. At the first MechCon, we had about 400 people. And then last year, we were at the Vancouver Convention Center and we had 1,000. Every year, people realizing that it's uh, just such a wonderful, you know, yearly experience to get together with people that love the brand and love the back games.